Hey everybody, Jillian here, back with a brand new Bible journaling process video. For this week's video, I'm going to be doing session one in the brand new Only One You devotional kit from Illustrated Faith and Dayspring. And I'm just showing you here the little dollar store container that I keep all of my kit contents in, as well as some things I pulled from my stash, like those Faber-Castell markers and extra rolls of washi tape that I'll know I want to use as I work through this devotional kit. And then um, I apologize if you can hear the mulching guys behind me. Our neighbor is like cutting down a tree and they're mulching it, so I hope you can't hear it. I'm also showing you here, I pulled out the All People, All Nations 6x12 sticker sheet because it coordinates so well along with this, um, this new Tim Holtz stencil that I have. I really like this design and thought it would go well with kind of like the abstract look of this kit. Then I'm also showing you here the digital downloads that you get when you purchase the Only One You devotional kit from Dayspring. So the day after you order it, they will email these to you. If you don't get them in your email, in your inbox, check your spam folder. And if it's not there, go ahead and contact webcare at dayspring.com. I'll leave all of that information in the video description below in case you purchased the kit and you didn't get the digital downloads. So I really, really think that's a great value this month. Because if you're anything like me, you hoard some things, your favorite things from the kit, and maybe you don't even end up using them because you wanted to hold on to them. <laughs> but with the digital downloads, you get so many great elements like the sticker sheets um, in digital format. And you can print those as many times as you want for your own personal use. It's, it's really great. So I printed mine on clear sticker paper, I'll link that below, the one that I use, and then wanted to use that to build my title along with the ampersand stamp and then the washi tape. So coming into this entry, all I knew is that I wanted to Bible journal. I haven't been feeling particularly creative lately, and so I really had no idea what I was going to do when I sat down to do this. So yeah, you're just watching me wing it, and it was really, really fast. I really didn't second guess any decisions that I made or anything like that. I just put things down, figuring if I messed up, then I could easily cover it. So I'm going to go ahead and use the washi tape that I had previously discarded. I didn't end up using the bits that said wildly loved or crowned, and I'm going to use that to hold this stencil down. I'm using the picked raspberry distress ink from Tim Holtz and then the mini ink blending tool. I'm going to put the blending tool in the ink and then put it on to my page with a circular motion and then that's it. Super simple, a nice crisp like stenciled image on my page and I'm just going to repeat that on the bottom doing the exact same thing and that's it. I really really love the look of this stencil. I'm really glad I picked it up. It actually comes in a three pack so there's two similar looking stencils that come with it. I'll link that below if you want to check it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and focus on getting the top part of my entry done. So like I mentioned in the process video I did for Illustrated Faith, I just love me using the All People All Nations collection with this duo kit because the colors go so well. So at the top I'm just layering stickers starting with the border strip and then a couple of banners, just alternating between the 6x12 sticker sheet and then the stickers from the kit. And I mentioned in my unboxing video, I really like the transition or the switch from the clear stickers that used to come in the Devo kits to like the cardstock stickers now. So while I'm getting the stickers placed up top, I really am just trying to keep a good, um, just want like every color represented at the top up there. So that was kind of my thought process behind that. So I'll go ahead and read the verse to you that I'm journaling. It's Isaiah, nope, Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5 where God says to Jeremiah, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I pointed you as a prophet to the nations. So in this devotional, the contributor remembers what it was like when she and her husband found out they were pregnant. And, you know, they spent countless hours planning and dreaming and coming up with names and just thinking about, you know, this, this little boy they were about to have. And then she, she says, before she had the tiniest idea that she was carrying a baby, God knew him. He had planned way ahead to create their sweet boy. So I'm not going to do my journaling on camera here. I'm going to wait and kind of think about what I want to write. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and finish off the entry with some word fetty. So... 
so I thought that was a great perspective uh, in the devotional and it's certainly not limited to you know your own children you know God is just so awesome and all-knowing and he knew you before you were even born and knew all the days of your life and for you and me and and even the people in our lives that maybe aren't so savory so it's just kind of thinking about that while I was journaling this and then I went ahead and used one of the um, enamel hearts just to bring some yellow down to the bottom of the page I actually used some of the the enamel hearts that are exclusive to Michael's stores and then I'm gonna go ahead and get some black paint splatters down on my page have you picked up the brand new Only One You devotional kit yet? I hope that you do. It's going to be so much fun to work through it together as a community. I've got it linked in the video description below. And if you pick it up before April 9th, you can get it for 25% off in Dayspring site-wide sale. So go ahead and be sure to check the video description below to get that discount code. That's going to do it for me. Here's a quick look at my entry along with a couple of close-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. I hope you have a great rest of your day.